What's up, dudes? General Santucci in Unreal Skyrim. Unrivaled Skyrim. I can't say it wrong. I don't know why I suck. Check ah. out, I know, right? Ch check out his channel. It's in the description. He's yeah, uh, badass. Yeah, check it out, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, this time we're using the uh, Silver Shield Pikeman versus the compa Foot Companions. And uh, what do you think about the Foot, foot Companions? Um, I think the Foot Companions are uh, going to be stronger than the Silver Shield. Um. I don't know, it's just because they're freaking, they're the ones who started the whole entire uh, Pike Phalanx thing, so I think they're more grounded in fighting in that style, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, definitely, and uh, and if they were like, if they, they made them like they were back in the day, they would have had 246 units in that, uh, men in that one unit, and would crush pretty much anybody, but they I made think it. They, they made it like the ranks, like either... Uh, deeper or something like that in this time period. Probably. Or something like that. Something like that. Because they were they're focusing more on pipe phalanxes than um than cavalry and um light troops and stuff like that. True. Very true. So I'm excited, man. Let's do this. I'm ready to kick yeah, some uh, Macedonian started, butt, yeah. man. I'm all about the Seleucid Empire. <laughs> <laughs> they're expensive though, I have to say. Yeah, I don't know how much the foot companions cost, but um. I think they're cheaper. That might not be good for me then. No, no, the foot companions are by far. I, I mean, I think by far, like so far, the uh -huh. best unit in the game. But the silver shields, I've never used. So, I mean, I, I tried them against like um, barbarian troops, and we know that pikes will slaughter barbarians. Oh yeah, I know that firsthand, man. Yeah. Oh, Naked fanatics will freaking die against. Pretty much any pike phalanx up and up front. They're good for flanks, like flanking attacks. I'm guessing. Yeah. Definitely, Definitely. not from the not from the front. Yeah. I, I highly unadvise that, man. Now, what I would do if I was one of those barbarian factions, since you know you 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 know if it if it was historically correct with the tie units being as strong as they're supposed to be, I would mm -hmm. go around the flanks, make those pike units change their formation to face those guys hit them in the back with arrows if possible mm -hmm. so while, while that's happening send my uh, heavy cavalry around the flanks and uh and see if i can get a light cavalry unit um to chase off his archers run them down keep them from firing at my archers and my men and that's how you win with an inferior faction you got to keep them on their toes mm -hmm. and if you see a, a nice beautiful looking phalanx you line man this is ready for you to charge at it mm -hmm. just take your whole army and March around its one of its flanks. Now yeah. what's he gonna do? He has to move. That's either take his man out of phalanx mode. Yes, rotate. And, and to make it go faster, or he's gonna have to stay in that unit and rotate. So, so let's say he does take his men off that phalanx. Now, once you were charged, you cannot go into phalanx. Yeah, that's true. So that would be uh, again. That would be something you um you would want to take advantage of. As soon as he takes his men out of phalanx. Run that shit downhill, man. Take mm -hmm. him down. But I'd never know. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's do this. Alright, let's take a good look at my silver shields. <laughs> I want to take a look what they look like, too. They look sexy. Let's look at their silver shields. There you go. They do have silver shields. That's pretty cool. <laughs> These guys are psychos. Huh. Yeah, they're gonna. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna do to your damn. Um, well, these guys got 160 <laughs> men in here. Oh, you got 160 as well. Yeah. Yeah, they got the same amount of dudes in one unit. Well, I'm gonna start marching forward. And now, what I would like to see is them moving with their pikes, like they did in the movie Alexander. Um. Actually, I think yeah, you can do that. Just have a Put them in phalanx and make them walk, not run. Would they keep their guys, uh, would they keep they, it up? They have their spears down. See, if you take a look at my guys, that's what they're doing right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you know like, how they march into formation? when They keep all their pikes straight up. Oh, like, you want them straight up? Then yeah. I think they're doing that if I press run. See, that's what they're doing now. Huh. Let's do it. I'm down for that. 
Yeah, see, they got they don't have them straight up, but they have them ready about to be um, uh, to bring them down. That's pretty smart. I thought I always thought they ran out of phalanx mode. Maybe that's just the hoplites. Yeah, and I'll keep these units on phalanx the whole entire time, so you don't forget to uh, uh, put them into phalanx, especially. Like you said, and some infantry were about to freaking charge them if they weren't were out of phalanx. Oh yeah. Because then their whole entire effectiveness would be uh, eliminated. Oh. Absolutely. Okay, so you, you got some deeper ranks. I kind of spread my guys out a little bit more. I'm gonna stop my guys. I'm going to. Oh, this is gonna be sweet, man. Oh, this is tight. Oh, now, how, yeah. Now, how many times did two pike armies actually engage in battle, historically speaking? That's a good question. I'm not quite sure about that. I think. Like the successors after Alexander Great sometimes fought. I guess yeah. I, I'd had to look that up because that's kind of interesting to to uh, want to uh, read about. Ooh, my guys are getting crushed right now. Oh man, it's no contest almost. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you guys are pretty much already half depleted. Yeah. They're done. So when you guys have a, <laughs> a chance to pick fire pike units, um, <laughs> I wouldn't pick the silver shield if you know you're going to be going one on one with the uh, the full companions. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much fucking Rome one, man. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, they were able to do a lot of damage to the foot companions, but one on one, my guys just shredded those dudes apart. Oh my god. Dude, that wasn't even a contest. Yeah. I mean, they did a lot of damage, but, um... <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't rely on them. No, I, I, I gave them a buff, too. Right when they, right before they uh, hit you. Yeah, I, I didn't use anything. I just marched them against their dudes. See? It's foot companions, guys, are just beasts. Like, <laughs> like, you've never seen the Silver Shields in action before. Maybe most of you haven't. Some of you have, but... They're not... Like, maybe right now they're not beast. Maybe when the DLC comes out, they will be. But, uh, yeah, they're just not... I, I think the uh, nearest, um, maybe the Bronze Shields would be a good uh, fight to get for the uh, companions, uh, for companions, but you never know. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we'll be doing a couple more uh, next time. And, uh, yeah, don't forget, subscribe to his channel. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>